sometimes you just need to lay on a rock and just be. Sometimes you just gotta be. Listen, a lot of stuff is on my mind. And one of my favorite things to do when I get overwhelmed is just be in nature and just breathe. It's true. I don't really talk to a lot of people about that. I don't really tell a lot of people a lot of things about me. Kind of just tell them what they want to hear sometimes. But I think, isn't that what we all do? I want to figure out who I am again, what I really, really deeply love. And nature is one of them. Look at this. I'm like, I'm not going to roll off the rock, but you get the point. So, I'm going to bring you on the journey with me, but, and I don't know. I have no idea where I'm going, but I know that it's cold right now, so I want to bring this conversation inside. So let's go do that. Ugh. So I just booked a trip and it makes me want to cry, but I also want to document this because this is a big moment for me and I'm terrified. But I'm really excited. I didn't think that being in your 20s was going to be as scary as it's been so far for me. And it's a lot of uncertainty. And it's really freaking me out. And I've never traveled before. And I'm so excited. And I'm so excited that I pulled the trigger and bought the trip. Because I want to see the world and I want to get out of my bubble and I want to try new things and I don't know why I'm crying. Being in my 20s, man. I've had everything planned out for me, like go to class from this time to this time, get the internship, have a job, get this position, now that, and now it's just like, do whatever you want and figure it out. It's like everybody around me has these expectations of how life is supposed to go and I don't agree with that. I don't agree with not doing the things that you've always wanted to do. I have always wanted to travel and I didn't talk about it to people because I knew a lot of people would just be like, well, how are you gonna do that? How are you gonna do it? And I kind of just want to look at them and be like, you know what, watch me. I'm gonna go do it and I'm doing it. I booked the trip, I am doing it and I think it's going to be very huge. There are so many things I want to do and I'm, I'm afraid that I'm not going to do them. I just, what am I even doing? Like I really, okay, okay. Can I set you up somewhere? I'm a senior in college right now. I have six months until I graduate. I have a direction I want to go, but I have no clue how to do it and I am having a lot of doubts. I set very high expectations for myself. And when I don't meet them, I feel like a failure. And it's not like I'm failing anybody else but myself. So I have dreams and aspirations. I have immediate friends and family that are very supportive but they can't be the ones to do it. You know, I have to be the one to take accountability in my own life and just do it and go for the jump. And I'm scared, I'm scared. I'm scared it's not gonna work, that it's gonna be a waste. But nothing is a waste, it's all an adventure, right? Like, our 20s are just so full of comparison and listening to what everyone else says that we should be doing. And I don't think that's fair. I don't want, I don't want to live my life for somebody else. Like, oh, you need to do this. No, I don't. No, that's what you are doing. You know, like, some of the conversations I've had with people lately have made the future just seem so bleak. And it brings me back to when I was a kid. Like, you would never, never tell a child that the route they're looking into is in is it possible? When a little kid comes up to you and says, I want to be a princess when I'm older, you're like, we'll make you princess. Like, we'll figure it out. But if 
someone our age went to you and said that, you would shoot them down immediately. And granted, that's a vastly different comparison, but the the heart of it is, why are we not running after our dreams and supporting other people too? There's so much potential in this world. And there's so much I'm afraid to to go after. Like I've wanted to be posting on YouTube, but I haven't known what to say. I know I have a lot to say. And I'm 21. And I'm about to enter this world that is crazy and chaotic and I'm entering in such a weird mindset of knowing, man, like everyone's telling me you're in your 20s once, you're gonna only be this young once, you should do everything, you should experience everything, but it is so overwhelming. It is so overwhelming. And I'm surrounded by people that have jobs locked down and they have internships and they're going to firms that are very established and they're getting an apartment after school and I, that's not my route. That's not my route. And it was my siblings route too. I haven't been very present this year because I've been worrying too much about what's next and what I should be doing based off what everyone is telling me I should be doing. And that just doesn't sit right with me. I've, I haven't been living my true and authentic self in the way that I know I live. I've been what everyone else tells me I should be. But I know in my heart of hearts, like that's, I don't wanna do what they're telling me to do. I'm determined. I'm determined to, to document my 20s, to document my thoughts, my experiences, what I learn, what I grow from, what I fail at. I wanna document it all. And I want to look back on it and smile and be like, man, like if only that Dana knew what this Dana achieved. This is me chasing my dreams and I'm going to do it. And I'm going to bring you with me, which sounds so silly right now. But trust me, like I'm, I want to do this so bad. I mean, I'm sitting in my apartment right now talking to a camera about my thoughts. I'm about to embark on the craziest journey in my 20s. The craziest journey. And I'm so excited. And I'm nervous at the same time. And I have so many thoughts and feelings. And if I go too deep into them, I'm gonna cry. But that's what I want this channel to be. Navigating 20s. Navigating life. Let's do this.